It was nearly two years ago that I contacted Cal and Carol, knowing of their vision and their ministry, asking them, where in Europe is there a need for the gospel? And they told me about Bosnia, specifically the Muslim population in Bosnia. As I prayed about what Cal and Carol said, um, I began to embrace a vision to make a film for Bosnia and Herzegovina. We're doing most of our filming in Sarajevo, the capital of Bosnia. We're working with uh, a professional film crew, we're working with professional actors, and, and it's been going great. In fact, today is my day off, which is really how I have a chance to send all of you in, in attendance at this conference uh, a word of encouragement, a word of encouragement to, to be strong, to be of good courage, to know that the Lord is with you, to know that he, he will support you as you step out uh, to do His will. You know, I had no money to make this movie, none, none at all. I, uh, uh, I, I didn't even know where, I, where to start. I, ha I had no contacts in the country. I knew no one here. I had no story, uh, you know, to develop into a film. Didn't speak the language. I'd never been to this part of the world before in my life. But when I learned of the need, something rose up in my heart to respond. And here I am, uh, not quite two years later, in the country making this film. It's called Sabina K. Um, K being the first letter of her surname. And, and my inspiration um, for the title and aspects of the film came from an Italian neorealist film uh, made in the late 1940s um, called Umberto D. And Sabina is a, a Muslim woman who experiences two loves. The first love fails her. It's human love. She falls in love with a Catholic man that they had fought together in the war. Ten years later, they meet again, fall in love, uh, decide to get married, but as it turns out, he abandons her uh, almost, you know, at the altar, and she's left devastated. She discovers she's pregnant. Her life begins to unravel. That's the first love. Unfortunately, a love that disappoints. But then she discovers the second love the love that never fails, the love of God. And uh, we tell the gospel story uh, through, a, through a human story. Here's what it is. You were called to make a film for someone, meaning a, a group of people, a culture, a nation perhaps. And you say, well, how can I do it? I don't have the resources. But it's not about you and what you have or don't have. It's about your obedience to respond to God's call, to make him known among the nations. So be strong, be of a good courage, commit. God will assist you.